Delta 209 at Delta 27, we are ready. In 2018, the airline industry is expected to handle 4.3 billion passengers. One of the reasons why most of the people choose airplane to travel is their extraordinary speed. In this video, we are going to talk about what different parameters the aircraft designer can manipulate to increase the maximum velocity of the aircraft. For that, we need to derive an equation for the maximum velocity. So, we will start our derivation based on our prior knowledge of thrust that it is equal to the dynamic pressure times the surface area times the coefficient of drag. Now, this CD is the total drag and it is equal to the zero lift drag coefficient plus the induced drag. We also know that in a straight and level flight, the lift must equal the weight of an aircraft and it is equal to the dynamic pressure times the surface area times the coefficient of lift. Now if we solve this equation for the coefficient of lift, we will have the value of the coefficient of lift as the weight divided by the dynamic pressure times the surface area. Now we will substitute the value of the coefficient of lift into this equation. And uh, when we do that, we will have the value of thrust as this equation. Now, we will multiply this dynamic pressure times the surface area with the first term and also with the second term. So when we multiply it with the first term, we end up having dynamic pressure times the surface area times the zero lift drag coefficient. And also when we multiply it with the second term, we end up having this term. Now, to make this uh, equation a quadratic equation in terms of dynamic pressure, uh, we will multiply the both sides uh, with the dynamic pressure. And when we do that, uh, we end up having dynamic pressure times the thrust on the left side. And when we multiply the dynamic pressure with the first term, we end up having dynamic pressure squared times the surface area times the zero lift drag coefficient. And when we multiply it with the third term, we end up having this term. Now we will re rearrange uh, this equation to have a nice and sweet quadratic equation. Now to solve this quadratic equation which is in terms of dynamic pressure we will consider the surface area times the zero lift drag coefficient as A, this negative thrust available to be B and the third term to be C. Now we will solve this quadratic equation and we will end up having the dynamic pressure is equal to negative B plus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2 times a. Now we will simplify this equation. We know that the dynamic pressure is equal to half times the free stream density times the free stream uh, velocity square which in this case is the maximum velocity that an airplane can fly. On the right side, what we have done is this surface area in the denominator, we have shifted it uh, into the numerator and also we have multiplied and divide uh, with the weight. And the reason we have done that is to have two very important airplane design parameter. So the first one is uh, this uh, thrust available divided by weight, which is the maximum thrust to weight ratio and this weight divided by the surface area is the wing loading and these uh, two uh, airplane design parameter plays a very vital role in determine, determining the maximum uh, velocity of the airplane. Uh, with the second term we have done the same thing we have shifted this surface area in the denominator to the numerator here it is and we have multiplied and divided with the weight uh, now this uh, weight square is in the square root so if it comes out of the square root it will be weight and these two will cancel each other out so it's basically the same thing and it's divided by two times the zero lift drag coefficient now if we simplify this equation a bit we will have the equation for the maximum velocity that an airplane can fly to now from this equation we draw three conclusions so if, if this is the maximum thrust to weight ratio and this is the wing loading, then the maximum velocity of the airplane can be increased in three ways. You can increase the maximum thrust to weight ratio. You can increase the wing loading. 
of an aircraft or you can decrease the zero lift a drag coefficient as it is having an inverse relation with the maximum velocity so if you decrease the zero lift drag coefficient you will increase the maximum velocity of the airplane so this is all for this video see you in the next one